This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Monday, 28th, March 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayode. President Muhammadu Buhari has congratulated the newly elected 79-member National Executive Committee of the All Progressives Congress APC, led by Senator Adelaide Adamu as chairman. Mr. President asked that the unity of the members put on display during the extraordinary national convention put the party on a firmer footing for victory in the forthcoming 2023 general elections in the country. The president will return to the convention ground at the Eagle Square Sunday morning along with the vice president and senate president to witness and celebrate the inauguration of the elected party executives remarks that the smooth conduct of the election has raised the prospect of a mouth watering apc victory next year The Socio-Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has asked that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, publish the details of safeguards and mechanisms put in place to protect the privacy and security of election information and data in their custody. SERAP urged INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubo to clarify whether any third party is involved in the collection, control and use of election information and data, the legal roles and processes guiding the choice of any such third party. Serap says this would help remove the risk of attack and unlawful interference by any unauthorized persons with election information and data. President Volodymyr Zelensky says Ukraine is willing to become neutral and compromise over the status of the eastern Donbas region as part of a peace deal as another top Ukrainian official accused Russia of aiming to carve the country into two. Zelensky took this message directly to a Russian journalist in a video call that the Kremlin preemptively warned Russian media not to report, saying any agreement must be guaranteed by third parties and put to a referendum. In a call with Putin on Sunday, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan agreed to hold talks this week in Istanbul and called for a ceasefire and better humanitarian conditions. Ukrainian and Russian negotiators confirmed that in-person talks would take place. And that's it on News Street for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adetola Kayode. Have a terrific week ahead.